Welcome to the Southern Oracles. I'm the Chalik Empress. And I'm Niorn. And this is our reading for the King of Swords and Queen of Wands for January 2019. Um, this is a general reading, so if take what parts fit your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, if you like what we have to say, of course, please like, share, and subscribe. That's self-explanatory. And I'm not one for long introductions, so let's get on with the reading. Okay. So what I see here is the overall energy is the chariot. And the chariot is about movement. It's about travel. It's about getting your heart and mind on the same page. And that's, that's really coloring your whole reading. But let's get started on the reading. So we got the ten of, ten of wands, mm -hmm. which is a burden. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. okay, it's a, ten of, it's a burden. And it's something that, it's a responsibility that you willingly shoulder. It could be a burden or it could be a success, depending on the rest of the reading, what the other cards has to say. Then you have the Three of Swords, which could be a heartbreak, could be a temporary se um, separation, or it could be cross words or cross paths, um, or it could be... Um, a long distance relationship. Then we have here the king of wands mm -hmm. and he is somebody who's passionate and fiery and uh, explosive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, yeah, so what I'm thinking, what you're thinking is I think that this has to do with a long distance relationship and I think that it's a bit of a burden um, it's probably causing you a lot of arguments a lot of fights with this five of wands right. I mean it's five of swords right in that long distance relationship with yeah the with the long yeah with the chariot the the back and forth going back and forth to see each right. other you know I think it's becoming really tiresome and just a burden not that the love isn't there it's just you're too far apart I think you are like two two ships going in two different directions you have a life they have a life you have the relationship in between but it's 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 just you're across you just cross paths at the moment you know it's like i don't know you wake up at this time and they work nights and you work days mm -hmm. and it's something like that and i think it's causing a lot of stress and arguments unnecessary arguments unnecessary stress and and it's all this overthinking with this Ten of Swords here. Um, this, there are probably periods where you don't talk or periods where you it seem like you do nothing but argue. Mm -hmm. And it's really because of this distance. You have a lot of passion for each other. But the passion may not be directed towards the same thing or probably at the same time. Yeah. It's like with the Cross Purposes card, I see that... It's like one minute, one of you is like extremely passionate. You want to see each other. You want to, and the other one's like, oh, well, not right now. And I think it's causing a lot of mental anguish. Yeah. It's like, are we together? Are we not together? You know, yeah, I see a lot of, it could be with the 10 of um, wands, a lot of messages being sent, mm -hmm. but they're not, it's not verbal. It's probably written, a lot of emails, a lot of text messages because it's like your two ships going in two different directions. And so the way you've been able to keep in touch has been through the internet or something like that. Yeah, when you can visit each other because you're the chariot. So, when, you know, the times when you can, can visit, visit each other, maybe it's hectic. Right. You the Ten of Wands, so there's a lot that you have to do. You know, or it's just a lot to plan for. So I can see that too. And I see that now... Um, You've been really analyzing it? things, right? Is it really worth all of the trouble? You yeah. know what I mean? And I think you you're making some kind of judgment call, and you're trying to say like, yeah, is it worth it? But I I think most I don't even think it's so much that it's worth it. I do see that the two of you, that ten of wands, even that ten of um, swords is telling me that you put a lot of energy and effort into it. It's not that you don't want to be together. I think it's how can more like a how to than it, you know should we 
should I stay, should I go? I just think it's like, how do I make this work right. when we're so far apart? Right. You know, you put a lot of thought into it, obviously, and you put a lot of energy into it. And now the judgment card is like, well, look, I've done, I feel like I've done everything that I can do. I'm not sure what else I can do to make the situation work. And with the death card, there's a bit of a glare here. Let's see how I pick that up. Um, the death card is about transformation, is about change, could be about an ending. I don't see it. I mean, it could be about an ending because we got this ten of swords here. But it also can be about a change with this um, wheel of fortune here. Right. Well so it could be deciding to move towards Yeah, them. you could be moving towards that person. Yeah, because you've got the Wheel of Fortune, which has to do with movement. I believe it's going to be changed Travel, because yep. of the way it, it ends with the Hierophant. Yeah. yeah, it could be you trying to move closer to you, the relationship. Yeah. Very much could be, and that's where this King of Wands comes in. But One you may be, decision. right, maybe deciding who's going to move right. where. Right. You know? Because it's been such a burden being separated like this, yeah. But it is it is a burden being separated, and it's it's causing you all this mental anguish, and and you just you want to be married, right. you want to have a conventional, real relationship, a physical one with this King of Wands here, you know. And I think, yeah, but I think the 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 tide is turning. I think it's moving towards, or you're moving towards something a little more. Um, yeah, conventional. You're right. moving towards a relationship instead of away from it. Right. And I see here with the clarifier, you have the strength card. So you both have the strength to do it, but it's, it's obviously you have the strength to do it, but it's more about calming the beasts within as yeah. well. It's like all these anxieties that you're having about whether we're on, whether we're off. You have, you, you're, you're taming that. This is a way to tame that beast. It's like, why don't we just move in together? Right. Why don't we just be in the same city, be right. in the same place, so I know that this will work. Right. So you're already putting the energy and effort into it. You're already, your mind is, you're constantly thinking about it. That sounds so good. And I think, <laughs> We're about and to I think, yeah, it's, <laughs> and I think you do have the strength for it. You, you have the strength to to tackle this problem and you do and and you have the strength to tackle it together i don't think that it's might be the male who's a little bit more passionate about it who's like i just want to get married right away right. right now you know yes or no but um or maybe let's move somewhere new to change the dynamics that could be it too it could be it yeah, yeah. with the wheel of fortune yeah. and the death card yeah maybe so that they could like start fresh so that they can have a new beginning somewhere else Right, and I see as uh, we we clarify this Hierophant card, mm -hmm. and it's uh, the Vecchia Signora, the happiness of the heart, mm -hmm. and the Grand Signore. Yeah, I think for me it's the male who would be over the moon happy with this. Right. It's like I'm I'm just over this old situation. I'm over the way it's been it's been handled in the past, and I'm I'm ready to to make this real. Right. You know, he's ready to propose. Don't see any proposal cards here, but definitely with the higher fan, he wants to um, solidify a relationship. Right. Whatever the way that might be. Maybe it's moving into a home. Right. Because this is like movement. Then you've got the higher fan, which has to do with something traditional. It could be like you guys are living together, and that makes it more official. Like maybe right. moving in together is what the suggestion is to change something up. You know, you guys are far apart, so maybe like, okay, well, let's just move in together. But yeah, I also see in the past that this this five five stuff might not been have been arguments. It might have been that you both had different ideas, right? You know, or there was a lot of people who had ideas about the situation. You know, you may have friends saying, "Well, you know, he's too far away. Maybe you should um be with somebody else, right. somebody closer." But I think ju if it's just the two of you, then you've definitely been un um had different ideas of how to make this work. Right. Well, so that's what I see for situation one. Here I chime in with my, <laughs> I don't see the same thing, but you, you know, with this channel, just to let you know, um, we put out a spread and sometimes we come to the same conclusions and a lot of times that we don't. So when I see this spread, um, I don't know, there's just there's a lot going on with this, but 
what I see with this one is two people who are having problems and I you know and they're deciding whether or not they want to stay together or separate but I think it's even more than that starting with the ten of wands it's like this burden so you've got the ten of wands here then you've got the ace of wands here so almost what I feel like if you look in every row you're gonna see burdens maybe on this side and endings and on this side you're gonna see new beginnings in life so for instance with rebirth, the King of wands, yeah. rebirth you're gonna see passion for the judgment card you've got um bringing, bringing something yeah. back to life for the hierophant you've got stability and, and security and, and that energy that earth energy there right and then in the middle you've got this heartbreak which can also just be stress you know what i mean it could just be you know from what i can see from the five of swords maybe a lot of petty arguments like maybe the two of you argue a lot and you break up a lot so let me just tell you what came to me when i was watching or i was looking at the spread literally i heard um break up to make up that's all we do first you love me then you hate me that's a game for fools so almost like you've been doing this a long time like y'all have been breaking up and then making up well it's definitely a cycle here it's yeah I mean, exactly with the wheel of fortune here you see that it's something that's cyclical like one minute y'all death y'all at death's door it's over i'm done with this person i don't want to deal with them anymore and then the cycle spins so it's really like an eternal circle you guys want to be back together again you want to you absolutely choose to be with this person so the advice that i'm seeing for you is Y'all gonna either have to learn how to control your tempers, um, be more patient with one another. I think it's control your tempers, personally, um, in this particular relationship. To control your tempers and how you deal with one another, maybe learn to listen more. Again, be more patient. That's the advice that I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. um, and then the chariot, to me, it doesn't represent movement like it did in situation one. In this situation, if you see the two sphinxes, they're two different sphinxes one is dark one is light you're gonna have to learn how to control these dark energies that you have and the light energies that you have so that y'all both can go the way it's in the same direction because you Cause, both have a temper right you both are just wanting to fight this petty energy right yeah you here. got this and then right. this yeah. right this petty energy right here where somebody look what they're saying this person has a sword up and he's raising it to the sky because he said whatever the thing was that really hurt the person that's sitting there crying on the ground that's why they call it the pettiness card because you're going to say whatever it is you feel like saying at that moment, you know, no matter what it does to the person when they crumble, you know what I mean? But at least you said what you had to say. You're going to have to exercise some kind of restraint in order for this relationship to work because the cycle as it is will continue where you guys will continue to break up and make up. And until then, you're not going to really make any movements. Yeah, there's movements, but it's in a circle. That's what I see. Um, For this one... The and wait, hold on. And but for the... For this card, it's like you're both shouldering the, the burden. Right, you're you both, both to are blame. to blame. You yeah. both are absolutely to blame because we have the three of swords and this is absolute heartache that you both are carrying and it causes a lot of stress and a lot of undue sadness if you think about it. Even though you really love each other. The yeah. passion's still I mean, there. The fire's still there. When you said the undue sadness, I got a uh, restriction in heart. Like it, yeah. it, it's a physical hurt. It's a physical hurt. Yeah, this person said just the right thing, uh, you know, even from the picture. To bring this person to but their But no, knees. I meant as far as health-wise. Ah, that it's taking a toll on, on your, your health. On your health, yeah. Yeah, because the King of Wands also deals with vitality. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you guys are busy hurting each other, but you're really hurting yourselves, honestly. And I, when I clarify, we still use the same cards. We've got Alegreza Alcore. Alcore. Yeah. We've got Vecchia Signora, and then the Gran Signore. This is the person that you love, okay? Um, I'd say... You see this? You go, for, again, from happiness. And this isn't sadness. This is just a guy by himself. So you guys go from being happy together, then here's the old pattern again, to being apart, alone. And I just, the pic to me, the pictures speak more than so much what the cards mean. It's the same thing. One side's happy, one side is either sad or alone. And that's what I'm getting. And this, this Vecchia Signora, me, to me, represents the old energy. Same old thing back and forth back and forth back and forth so that's kind of like what i'm getting for this reading again the advice is just to hold you know 
temper yourself. Control your temper, yeah. right. Control your temper. Control your mouth. Control what you say. And maybe try to... I don't see any cards to dig deeper, but there needs to be some type of change. If y'all are going to end this cycle where you're constantly breaking up and making up, somebody has to change the way that they talk to each... The way you speak to each other. Maybe y'all have too much stress and that's why these you take your resentments out on one another. You know what I mean? Or maybe you've gone through a lot because this is something that's been going on for a while. And it causes you to be, you know, maybe petty. That's the only way that you know how to deal with it. But something does yeah. have to change. But I also see that you made the decision <clears> that <throat> you are going to stay together right. no matter what. Right. So if the person... Yeah, because when you're hearing break up to make up, I'm hearing let's stay together. Right. It's like we've made the decision a long time ago that we're going to say nothing is going to bring us right. apart. Right. This is your person. You decided that you're going to be with this person. You don't care. And this is not a healthy energy by any means. But if you're, gonna, if you're going to decide to stay together, the universe's advice for you is control your temper and the way that you treat one another. If you decide that this is a person that you absolutely want to be with because you just cannot see yourself in anybody else, this is a person that you feel passionate about. You know, this is in your head. Your heart is, judgment is a card of things dying, but also things being resurrected again. So even when you think it's over, right, it never really is at this point in your life. This is yeah, but over. it's funny because it's over, resurrected, dead again. Right, you know, and then over, the, cycle right, right, the cycle continues. Yeah, and, and you're back, you're back together, together again. Yeah. Right, if the cards were to go in a row, this is exactly what they would say. So you know, this is something that comes back together again, and y'all end up being committed. So since you are dead set on being with this person, and there's nothing wrong with that, and you choose who you choose, and you love who you love, and you want to be with who you want to be with. If you're going to choose to be with this person, you have to change if you want things to be like this where you have that happiness of the heart and you guys are finally on the same page once that happens then you guys will be able to move forward and a new cycle will actually begin so that's all of the information that i'm getting from this reading me too yeah that's all the energies i'm getting right so do with it what you will um and, and until then we'll see you next, next time right take care